there's this tree that's behind the cabin. It's like something was preventing me from ever getting near it. The Lost Tree, I produced and starred in it, and uh, it comes out into theaters tomorrow across the country, Friday the 13th, because it's a scary movie, so, you know, got to have that Friday the 13th release date. But we're very, very excited. It's an independent film, um, so, you know, to have a theatrical release is pretty awesome, and also premieres in Los Angeles, New York, where we are now at the New York Film Academy, and then also Chicago tomorrow, so I'm definitely running around uh, doing it all as I kind of did on the on the film, you know, wearing multiple hats. This is uh, my my return to my forte, which is drama. Uh, actually, when I started acting school uh, back in the 80s, now I'm really dating myself, uh, drama was my forte and comedy was my weak point. Mm -hmm. And so my acting coach and mentor said, you can only be as strong as your weakest link, so let's work on your weak part, which is comedy. And a few years later, I started an entire career of comedies. <laughs> Comedy, yeah. So, you know, starting with Rookie of the Year, all the way through Kidding King Arthur's Court and the American Pie series. And obviously, in between, you know, some of the American Pie films, especially between Wedding and Reunion, I did some dramas. Yeah. And I think it's the 15-year anniversary of uh, Rules of Attraction, either today or yesterday or something. Um, but this is, but drama's my, my forte, so. This is my step back in it. I know it's a, a thriller and a horror, uh, but it's it's a little bit, uh, I guess, more intellectual than that. It's not just a you know, cut them up and leave them dead type of horror film. It's a it's a drama and a thriller and a tinge of horror. Something wrong with this cabin. It's time to come home. You need to listen to me. What the hell is with this place? So I have a new film project that I'm producing called Handbook for Mortals, and that's a story about a young woman who goes to uh, Las Vegas to join a magic show, and it turns out she can do real magic. So that's how I kind of got involved in hanging out with uh, David Copperfield and Chris Kenner and Matt Black, who's another magician. And I just like hanging out at the Magic Castle one night, and all these people were doing cardistry, not even necessarily magic. And I kind of got that like, you know that itch? When, when everyone's doing something and you're like, man, I wish I could do that. And I pretty much picked up a deck of cards and to impress Chris Kenner, wanted to learn the five faces of Sybil. So I worked on that for more hours than I care to admit. Uh, but when the Wi-Fi wasn't working on planes, it was a, a good way and you didn't really want to drop the cards on a plane. So it was like kind of like a tightrope walking without a net. <laughs> right.